Hey there guys and welcome to Train Simulator for a special Christmas episode. So I've found a scenario that it's snowing in because why not? Good evening driver, please release the passenger doors and get ready to depart as soon as possible. This train is currently running 15 minutes late and holding the following services up. Please try your best to keep going despite the weather out there. Okay then, we will open the doors. Here, uh, I think we're at Birmingham New Street, that would be logical. Turn the headlights on. And um, try to remember how this train works. Because I think I need to turn the master key on. Okay, <laughs> the train is just completely off. Good to know. We'll turn the wipers on. That seems to have done nothing. Where is the wiper switch? There. That seems to be a better setting. Anyway, the doors are closed, so off we go. Yes, we are in New Street. We have no power. What is stuck? Why, why aren't we moving? I've got the DRA on, that's what it is. I've worked it out. Now we're off. We're on the move. I've not played with the 323 that much, so I've, I've got to get used to how it works. I'd, I'd forgotten this is one of the trains that does have a working DRA. Driver reminder appliance that, strictly speaking, you turn on at every station. In reality, having now turned it off, I'm never going to use it again. So it looks like we're heading south out of New Street. Or, well, west to begin with, and then we very sharply turn south in a second. At a very low speed. I'm just going to turn up the volume a bit, because I can barely hear it. Should definitely be able to hear something along here. Just going to try not to go too fast. It's quite a steep uphill out of New Street. But it then quickly becomes downhill. Past a train heading north. I feel like, given the tight corner, there should probably be some sort of sound effect. There's some flange squeal in this tunnel, but oh well. Round to the left. And soon we should be able to accelerate up to up to 30. I doubt we'll be going much more than 30 on this journey. Um, here we go, just got to get three coaches past that sign, past that speed limit, and then we should be good to go. Onwards! <laughs> I hear nothing from this train. I can hear the lever moving, I can hear the AWS when it goes off when I start the engine. Turn the master key on. I heard that ding. But there's no sort of engine sounds or anything. I mean, I guess there wouldn't be an engine sound, it's an electric train, but th there should be a sound from the motor. It's quite a, di quite a distinct sound on the 323s, for that matter. Just got a little sign next to my head telling me, am I certain of my stopping pattern? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm being told to stop at five ways, so that's what I'm going to do. Try not to wheel slip in the snow. Try and come to a halt at the three car stop sign, which is a lot earlier than I expected it to be, I'll be honest. There we go. I open the doors. Look back over my shoulder. We can go and sit in the, uh, in the train. Ooh, I can't move around. I can only zoom in on the back of his head. That's a bit weird. There's another train coming, heading north. In a rush, you'd think the uh, the doors might close a bit quicker than they are. 
There you go. I am 20 seconds late currently. Could we hurry it up, please? There we go. And... I'm getting no power. Did it really take that long? The doors closed quite a while ago. That long for the brakes to release. Oh, the DVD is... I don't know what the... The DVD is the driver vigilance device. It's active. It's now isolated. <laughs> Can't be dealing with that. Uh, there's another route I've got that has that. It just keeps turning itself back on. It's great fun. Oh, okay, we do get to go up to 50. That's nice. Once we get round this corner. There we go, it's a canal to our left. I wonder if that's frozen over given the weather. So it's, it's a very snowy evening, this. Well, I don't think it's actually snow, I think it's raining. Snow on the ground. Accelerate up to 50. I still can't hear anything. It's really disappointing that I can hear no sort of motor sounds. Well, if I turn it way up, I can hear something. But I'm a bit concerned how loud the AWS is going to be now. That's not too bad. Turn up a bit more. Don't know how bad it's going to be in the video. But for me, it's not terrible. Oh, I'm speeding. Let's put the brakes on a bit. Got to be careful. I've got to remember to stop at university. And we are running rather late. So a bit more speed would be good. We have to come in quite quickly into the station. Try and stop in quite a short distance. This could be interesting. But actually, it doesn't look like it would have expected me to have started braking yet. I would have, honestly. I would have started breaking quite a way before then. I mean, I'm going to stop in time, but... In reality, you would be you would be stopping quite a way before then. I'm going to miss the S-car stop sign, I think. There we go, there's the iconic sound. Still quiet. I didn't go too far past the sign. Wondering if can I I can pull the window down. I wonder if that'll make the sound louder. There's another train. Just wait for the doors to close. Ding the buzzer at the guard in the hope that he might let us leave a bit sooner because Wow, this train is not eager to leave. Alright, off we go. I'm even later now. About half a minute late. <laughs> Which is not good on this line because it's quite an intensive service pattern. Oh, the DVD's active. Let's isolate that. My computer's dinging at me in the background. I'll ignore that. I know exactly why it's dinging at me. I was just kind of hoping it wasn't going to in the middle of the video. A 60 limit on the way over to Celiac. I'm not sure I'm going to be taking a great deal of advantage of it. If the station is right here.
Now then, where's the three car stop marker? There it is, it's quite early. Um, I think I've done pretty well there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. F1 seems to have boarded. Unfortunately, we're being a bit slow about actually um, closing the doors. Platform. Oh no, someone else has just turned up and boarded. There we go. Large driver, control has just phoned to let me know that we need to run non stop to Longbridge and then on to Bark Green, where we might have to cancel the train and return to Birmingham. They'll call me back with an update in a few minutes. I've already informed the passengers. I feel like I would know if you had informed the passengers. This wouldn't come as a complete shock to me. I would be able to hear the announcement. <laughs> I also feel like Control would probably be informing me before the guard. But okay, non-stop to Longbridge. So we're skipping... What, Bromsgrove, Kings Norton and Northfield? It's an unusual, unusual three to skip. Not Bromsgrove, what am I on about? Bourneville. Begins with B. Okay, means I might actually get up to some reasonable speed though. I might have to slow down for Bourneville. I have to slow down for the uh, 45 and 30 through into Kings Norton, but then 70 from there onwards. Have to stick on the slow lines. Fast lines aren't electrified, I don't think. I'm speeding again. So there's my flashing double yellow. That that warns me that I'm diverging in the future. So I should see a flashing single yellow at the next, then a steady single yellow, and then the diverging route. Nice purple Bourneville station. A bit of fun not stopping there. DVD's active. No, it's not. Oh dear, the AWS is not good at um, clearing on this train. It's a bit unresponsive. I'll just slow down to 45. Oh, I've been a bit preemptive there, but that's fine. It's 10 on the diverging route off to the left. That loops back round up towards Birmingham, I believe. I've been really preemptive with my slowing down here. That AWS will be still the diverging route, possibly also the speed restriction. I guess the fact that the speed restriction is because of the diverging route, it means it's both. But I don't think there's as much of a speed restriction if you're going straight, well, to the right, which is technically the, the main route as opposed to the diverging route. So we switch over onto the slow line. And the fast line is electrified through Kings Norton, but I don't think it's electrified past here. And we can get up to 70 now. Because the fast line is used predominantly by cross country and they operate diesel. So, to electrify the line on the cheap, just electrify the slow tracks. A bit awkward in times of disruption, less flexibility, but... almost up to 70. 66, 67. There we go. Let's start easing off on the power now. 
should be passing Northfields shortly and then Longbridge is the next stop. Oh, I'm speeding. Just uh, ease off on the power completely there then. Not regained any time here, still about half a minute late. Just clear the uh, AWS for the double yellow. Not sure that's warning for. That'll be a single yellow at Longbridge. Where I'd have expected a red, honestly. Yeah, clear that. Need to start considering slowing down for the, uh, well, not just the 45, but the station itself. Longbridge is a bit of a deceptive one because um, you do have to stop halfway down the platform. The second half of the platform just doesn't get used. So I'll start braking now because I'm going quite fast. I'm going to need to brake a bit more. We need to stop by that signal, and I'm speeding. We need to we need to stop by the signal. We need to stop by the signal. Am I going to stop in time? Oh, we might do. Well, uh, technically we passed the signal, but we are in the platform. Even to such extent, I like the way I'm not in service. <laughs> uh, okay, there'll be a button for that. I don't know what it is though. But there'll be a button for it. Control informs me that the line to Redditch is blocked by snowdrifts. That's impressive. So when we get to Bank Green, we'll have to cancel the train and return back to Birmingham. Upon arrival, please release the passenger doors, change cabs, and wait until I give you the right of way. I want to make sure all the Redditch passengers disembark at Bank Green. Well, I'd hope you make sure all the passengers disembark at Bank Green, because we're going to go back the other way. Twenty across the junction. And then up to ninety, max speed of the train. Confusingly now the electrification is on the centre tracks because the outer tracks are freight loops. There's a bit of electrification, but not far. And a siding on the right, which logically is where we would have been terminated in, in real life. Sending us to Bart Green and back is an unusual choice. But here we go. Let's try and get up to 90 now. I'm not sure we're going to make it. We might do, we've got a reasonable distance to Barn Green. It's like two miles. I do have a 15 just before the station, so it's, it's not like we can come in at a, at a massive speed. There's the uh, DVD again. Gotta love it. Yeah, we can't blast into the station. We do have to slow down to 15 before it. The tight diverging route again. We are now on time again, though, so that's something. I'm not sure we're going to make it to 90. Might make it to 85. There's our double yellow, which is not warning us of a diverging route. It should be a flashing single yellow, really, but okay. Let's start slowing down for that 15. Quite a bit more than what we're currently doing. I think the snow is not helping, I'm going to be honest. We're not going to make it down to 15 in time. Well, we might do, we might be okay. 
Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Maybe there's a crossover here, okay, fair enough. I didn't even think there was a crossover, that's why I was mainly confused we were turning around here. There is a crossover, just can't be a well used crossover. Drop down the last few miles per hour, down to 15. There's a train has come up from Bromsgrove there. And round into the station. There's the three car stop. Not far past the six car stop, in all honesty. Uh, not far before the six car stop. A bit of extra length to the platform spare there. I guess you could possibly even stop a six car where we are. But it would. Yeah, it wouldn't quite fit in. It would fit after the junction, but it wouldn't fit in the platform. Okay, we've got to change ends. Means I've got to work out how to turn the uh, turn the master key again. Oh no, that's turned it off. There we go. Turn that off. Turn the DRA off. Turn the wipers on. And turn the headlights on. Oh good. And now we wait. Wait to hear back from the guard. Do you have the signal? We've got an F and a yellow. I wonder what F stands for in this situation. Presumably fast. But that feels unusual because it's two track up until Longbridge and we'd be on the slow as soon as that appears. I'd more have expected up or down because I don't know which way the upline actually is here. That was the DVD. I don't know how you cancel the DVD, it's not Q, so I just isolate it. I hadn't realised that isolating it only isolates it in one cab and not both cabs. Ooh, uh, we should be off again shortly by the looks of it. Maybe another minute. Let's go and look around the station a bit more, I guess. Evidently not expecting any more trains following behind me. I guess the train behind me has had to pick up all the stops, hasn't it? Or, or I skipped them. So there's now quite a gap between us. So we're going to get out before it wants to come down into Bromsgrove. Well, actually, it's going to Bromsgrove. We are running as train 2, Papa 81, with the same stopping pattern as before. Non-stop between Longbridge and Sally Oak, then all stations to New Street. Okay, still a weird stopping pattern. Accelerate up to 15 and then shut off to cross over all the points. Over we go. Short stretch on wrong line and then switch over to the right line. Oh, there. Are, okay, so the, the slow line does actually start straight after Bank Green heading north. Um, and it's electrified apparently. That doesn't feel right. There we go, 90. Oh no, it's not electrified. Oh, is it? It's very unclear. Don't think it is. I mean, it's just the uh, the changeover on our line. 
to a new set of wires. But off we go. How close to 90 can we get before Longbridge? <laughs> Honestly, the time saved by not going to Redditch and back from Park Green might as well not bother skipping the stations and we'd be back on time. I guess skipping the stations allows the trains behind us to be closer to schedule. It's a uh, double yellow, followed by a single yellow, but the red is way after Longbridge on its way to... That'll be the train that we saw having come up from Bromsgrove at Park Green. We'll be currently stopped at Northfield. A bit of a downhill, we might make 90. There's a train behind us. Don't know if that'll be going to Redditch or Bromsgrove. Oh, we do have a 30 to be aware of. I hadn't realised that. That'll be where we switch over to the slow line. That's... That'll be fine. I'm sure we'll make it down to 30 in time. That red signal we can see over there is in the siding, I believe. That shouldn't affect us. There we go. Down to 30. And now... I got, got there a bit early, actually. Feels positively like a crawl over to the uh, crossover. There we go. Switch across. And into Longbridge. Well, the platform is actually the full length this time. I've missed the three car stop marker, I'm going to be stopping at the six. I was too busy looking at the platform on the other side. Let's, let's just go back and find that three car that I missed. Is it that one? Mm, yeah, that would, that would be a good place for it. Yeah, so I missed that. Um, yeah, I was trying to work out on this side, because obviously the platform stops up at points. Electric trains, no access to down goods. And then you're forced to use the ramp. You're not allowed to use the old staircase. Which comes down at the actual end of the platform. And obviously it's extended that way to compensate. So you can make it across the uh, ladder all the way over into the siding. There's an old tunnel exit there, from another line. Oh, yeah, got to wait for the uh, clearance there from the guard. Off we go. Twenty-five. Thirty. Forty. Got a limit of seventy up to Kings Norton. Probably thirty round the corner, I imagine. Might be a bit higher. It's a, not not quite as tight a corner this time. We will probably actually hit. Some, oh, it's forty round the corner. Yeah. At ninety off. Hmm. So it's 90 through King's Norton, so it's 40 before King's Norton. What weird switching am I doing there? Who knows? The, the track layout at King's Norton is a mess. Past Northfield, I'm doing more than 70. Let's slow down a bit. Yeah, because the track layout at King's Norton is designed for the centre two tracks to go off to the right. 
which means that actually the the fast away from Birmingham is the same as the slow platform at Kings Norton. If you've come down the Camp Hill line. Actually, if you've come down either line, for that matter. Don't think you'd ever use the track next to us. Don't know. I'm not that well versed in how Kings Norton works. It's an unusual layout, that's the main point. We get down to 40 by the points. Not those ones. So that set would allow us over onto the Camp Hill line, which is unelectrified. And we join on here. But yeah, this track to the right of us now, I don't know if it ever really gets used. I mean, I imagine it must do. We don't stop here. It's a bit deceptive. 90, because that's the speed the fast lines are at through from Longbridge, whereas the slow lines are only 70. 45 round the corner. And then 60 after the tunnel. So out we go, through the tunnel, past another train heading south. I'm speeding again, easy mistake to make. And up to 60, until Selly Oak. We probably will actually manage 60. It's, um, yeah, uh, we're definitely going to manage 60. We could probably have managed 70. Oh, we're apparently going downhill here. Yeah, because we go down to become almost level with the canal. And then go up again to go over it at Selly Oak. Through Bourneville, Purple, Cabaret. onwards. Less than a mile. Almost there. Wow, how far away from the station do we start slowing down? That's the real question. It's an uphill, so I've got, got gravity working with me to slow the train down. This train does slow down pretty quick, even in the snow. And I am currently running about 15 seconds late, 12 seconds late. But In the time it's taken me to work that out, I've realised I've come very close to the station, so... <laughs> I'm just going to start slowing down now. Bring it down to 40 for the start of the platform. The car stop marker is pretty far down, I think. Yeah, that's my computer in the background again. Um, oh no, the three car stop marker's there. Okay, I've missed that. I'm not going to go quite as far as the six car down the end. I'm going to still stop under the canopy. If anything, what I've done is better because I think the back of the train might be under the canopy as... Well, more of the back of the train is under the canopy. Canopy is not even three coaches long, let alone the six that tend to operate. I thought it's significantly better than the canopy on the other side, which is practically non-existent. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. Come on, guard. There we go. Guard does like taking their time after the doors close before letting us leave.
Will we be able to get up to that 50 limit before university? Probably not, although it is downhill, so maybe. It's a very short distance between two stations here. Five. No, we are going to make 50. I don't want to go above 50, even though the speed limit currently allows for it. Because the 50 is very close. Down from the bridge and become level with the, uh, the canal. And then start slowing down for the university station. <laughs> Gonna to need to stop a bit quicker. The three car is right down this end. There it is. I see it on the next lamppost. There we go. Just get a get a screenshot for the thumbnail. And passengers boarded. Wait for the guard to let us leave. Accidentally put the train in neutral. Easy mistake to make. And off we go. I think it's just two more stops then. Five ways in New Street. Eight forty nine fifty. <laughs> yeah, but let me just before five ways we have to start slowing down for the crawl through the tunnels under the city centre. But not quite yet. Get a bit more at 50 first. Bit concerned about what that AWS warning was for. Was it just the speed limit? I mean, that's green. And that signal is green, so it can't have been for the signal. That'll be the AWS for the signal. Another ding from the background from the computer. It's just videos I recorded earlier, rendering, ready for upload. Um, January's videos, in fact. Slow down for the 30. I don't actually know where it starts. I don't see a sign for it yet. So it must be just around the corner. Hopefully hidden. Yeah, there it is. It's behind a post. You have to know it's there. Luckily, the HUD tells me it's there. <laughs> Oh, still going quite steep downhill. 163 downhill, in fact. Given we're next to the canal, that is very, very steep. And bring it down to a slow stop. I think the three cars pull you down the end of the platform. Given that's where the stairs are. Yeah, it's just an S car marker. I'm gonna miss it! Because of the hill. Luckily, at least I've stopped in a usable part of the platform because that's the way to get to the lift. Which they've helpfully put a pillar right in front of. Really easy to access lift that. 
The lift on the other side is in a slightly better location. And actually she has to manage three floors on the other side, because it has to do the platform level, the bridge level, and the ticket office level. Hello guard, thank you for releasing the train, and off we go. Don't know why the guard gets so much power over that. The guard should not be able to say, now we'll release the brakes. The doors had closed long before then. Unless it's just simulating the guards doing local door opening, which I don't think they could do on a 323. Yeah, that was some poor drive quality, and I was speeding, I will accept that. But it didn't go brilliantly there. I'm used to accelerating away from a station, you really can't accelerate away from five ways. Through the tunnels... And slowing down to 20. 20 for the turn, then 10 for the junctions. And we're stopping in 8A, which I think is the uh, it's the eastern end of the platform. Just made it down to 20 in time. No more AWS, that's done now. Still going 1 in 64 down. So we're still struggling for speed, keeping the speed low. Around the corner, I've got to start looking to slow down for that 10. I think it's just after the tunnel portal. There we go, 10. No sign for that. And we just uh, wonder which platform we're going into. Eight, I think, is the one straight ahead, I'll be honest. There we go. And it's just a slow crawl down the platform to 8A. Hello passengers, you're at the wrong end of the platform, you need to move down. <laughs> Basically anywhere past that yellow signal is 8A. It's not a long platform, in fact, I think we're going to struggle to fit three cars in it. The back coach will oh, hang over into 8B. Potentially. So the platform ends before the points. In reality, you can go all the way down to that signal, but I'm already past the end of the platform now. I'm going to bring the back two coaches into it, past the uh, past the centre signal. This is still a perfectly viable place to be stopped in this platform. There's, there's multiple signals to be working with, so basically this is the signal I have to stop by. That signal controls the main junction. And the signal back here controls movements between A and B. A and B, I think. That's my understanding. Signals on their sides. Also, I've got headlights on at both ends and no taillights. Interesting choice. That's it for today. Great work. Go home before the snow blocks the roads. Might be too late for that if it's already blocked the railway. Well, there we go. How did I do? Is it is it going to do anything? There we go. I got an achievement. Cross country snow didn't. Interesting choice. I wasn't driving a cross country service. <laughs> 874.
That will be a bronze, maybe a silver. Won't be a gold. Was mainly um. Was mainly speeding. Speeding was the big issue. Did have some timeliness penalties as well. Ninety was the uh, was the was the goal for timeliness. Had a 70, 78 and a seventy seven and eighty eight. Didn't do too badly for timeliness, all things considered. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want more. I, I do want to get back into Train Simulator on a semi-regular basis. But I don't know what scenarios to do at any given time. So if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you next time.